History of Art is a fantastic degree to do at Cambridge. Um, we are surrounded by phenomenal buildings and works of art, and Pembroke is a particularly good college. It is very supportive of art historians. We have a really vibrant uh, community of art historians, both undergraduates and also graduate students. We have a, a, a sort of pretty large number of graduates in the subject. We're very close to the Fitzwilliam Museum. It's minutes away. You can tumble out of bed and be there sort of five minutes later. We're also very close to the department. And more than that, um, Pembroke is a lively community that's very proud of its culture, which includes its visual culture. We have in the chapel um, the first building designed by Sir Christopher Wren, who went on to build St Paul's Cathedral. Uh, we have some fabulous portraits, um, some of them in the hall, but some scattered around the college. And we've also got a brilliant section in the library. We're one of the strongest college libraries in history of art. And history of art is one of the very few subjects to have its own room in Pembroke Library, primarily because of a phenomenal uh, donation of books a couple of years ago when we got a couple of thousand books from one of our alumni. So it really is a lovely place to study the subject. Applications. We welcome applications from any student, from any walk of life. You do not have to have studied art history before. People come and apply with a whole range of different subjects because the great thing about history of art and architecture, I should say, is nothing is irrelevant. You know, if you've studied maths, that can be fantastically useful in understanding how architects work. If you've studied biology, it can be brilliant when you're beginning to look at animal paintings or anatomy or the way in which the figurative tradition has developed. So please don't worry about what you're bringing to the party. We're interested in everything you've studied. And what we're most keen to see is your aptitude for the subject. And the way we think about that is, is um, do you really understand the ambition of history of art and architecture? Do you see what the discipline is trying to do? Do you have good visual understanding? Are you visually literate? Can you look at a painting and even if you know nothing about it, can you think about it in an intelligent and inquisitive way? The application process involves filling in the necessary forms and submitting a couple of essays so we can see how you write. It doesn't matter what they're on. It's simply so that we can see you've got the ability to write extensively. Um, history of art is a, a very essay-based subject. You will do at least one essay a week. They're about 2,000 words long, but it varies. Sometimes you'll be doing two essays a week when you're doing two courses at the same time. So we need to know that you can write well. Um, you'll then have an interview, um, well two actually, one specialist interview, probably in here. Uh, we try very much to put you at your ease so you can talk to us as best you can about why this is the right subject for you and the right course for you. Um, and it will involve probably me with one other art historian asking you questions about mm, your understanding of the excitement of art history, about how we might consider historical and social and political factors in studying the subject, about artists you like, come and tell us about them. It doesn't matter what period or what context. Um, it can be somebody from your local town. We're interested to see how you, how you engage with the practice of artists, and by that I mean sculptors, painters, decorative artists, architects. Um, we might be interested in an exhibition you've seen, what impact it made on you, why it made that impact, why you are curious about that impact. Um, there'll also be a second interview with another fellow in Pembroke, uh, possibly the admissions tutor or one other fellow, and that again it will be in a room not unlike this and it will involve more questioning to try and ascertain how your, um, what, what your intellectual curiosity is, how you might debate something. So while those questions will be slightly less specialist, they still will be geared towards your academic profile.